Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. Today I wanted to talk about the 1970s era hidden telephone. And I have one right here and you can see that like this, it just looks like a, could be a cigar box, could be just a trinket box, um, could be anything. So they, for some reason, made these in the 70s and people seem to like them and I assume the reason for that is purely the same sort of motivation that people have now for hidden bars. Just having something that isn't obvious from the outside but it has functionality on the inside so that way arguably it could be a decor piece and not stand out like a sore thumb as a you know utilitarian item. So basically what you have here is, it just looks like a generic box. You open it up, there's a phone inside, and I've got the handset here. They've got the cord completely self-contained in there. So it's not making a mess on your tabletop. It just recedes right back into that hole when you're not using it. Then you've got the dial over here. And you know, it's pretty basic as far as phones go. There's not anything particularly exciting about it. Um, it's got, this particular one has the push button dial, but I've seen them with the rotary dial too, because in the 70s was kind of transition period between rotary phones and push button phones. So you get a mix of different types of phones if you buy from the 70s. And then I believe, you know, on the back, it's still completely innocuous. So they've got all the plugs and whatnot underneath here. And you can see that's where it would Plug, that's where it plugs into the phone itself. Here's where you would plug it into the wall. And they were selling these as basically executive phones. So you've got your desk at work, your, you know, a manager or something. And I guess they felt that people would want something, again, innocuous, so their desk would look clean and streamlined and the phone would not stand out like a sore thumb. So I personally find these kind of an interesting, quirky thing from the 1970s, and I thought it would be kind of fun to profile it for you guys and see what you think. So, I hope you learned something today, and I thank you for watching.